All right, let's see, what do we have next? All right. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new Monstober review. Today, we're gonna be talking about The Invisible Agent. As always, you guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments about Invisible Agent from 1942. Invisible Agent was released in 1942 by, of course, Universal Studios. Now, this will be the fourth film in the Invisible Man franchise. So basically, our plot goes like this. Frank Raymond, who is played by John Hall, is the Invisible Man's grandson. He has the secrets to the special formula, and the United States Army wants to use it to spy on Germany, you know, the Nazis during this time. It takes place during World War II, and I gotta say, with that idea, it's a lot of fun. That is pretty much our plot. We have an invisible agent literally going around spying and taking out German Nazi soldiers, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, you know, it's a really cool concept to have the Invisible Man in World War II. I think that's a really smart idea by any sort of army, by using an invisible agent. You're gonna win when you have him. Now I do gotta say, it is a lot better than expected. A bunch of these Invisible Man sequels will catch you by surprise, especially if you just think that, oh, it's not as good as the original because it doesn't have Claude Rains or whatever. Pretty much every single one of these sequels have something great about them. Peter Lorre and Cedric Hardwick, who both play villains in the film. Heard about this film, you know, I thought that's really interesting. World War II and using the Invisible Man serum, you know, I think that's a really cool idea. Then when I finally checked it out, I was surprised. It, it's a pretty good movie. Although some parts of the film can kind of drag and can kind of just seem like wartime propaganda, it's still a lot of fun. Now, I really think you guys should go check it out and let me know what you think, honestly, because it seems like this seems to be the film that kind of split people in half with the franchise. But anyways, you guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for the Invisible Agent review from 1942. I hope you're having an awesome October as we're moving towards the later end of the season and getting closer to Halloween. Monstober has been a lot of fun so far and we're not done yet. So again, you guys, thank you all for watching. As always, stay tuned and stay scared. Peace.